Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with another tutorial for ADSR. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the multi-stage filters inside of Serum. So really quick, if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please sign up at youtube.com forward slash ADSR Toots, that's T-U-T-S. So the reason I thought I would do this tutorial is actually twofold. I've gotten a couple questions coming through asking, you know, how do I like Serum and and uh, how's it work in comparison to some of the heavy hitting soft synths out there like Massive and things like that. But I also got some questions coming through with some concerns about, hey, there's only one filter. Uh, you know, how's this work for certain genres like dubstep, Nero, drum and bass, all of those genres that require some fun play between multiple filter types. Well, you do have two filters inside of Serum. You have the second one on your effects slot. But you also have these really interesting filter types or modes that most soft synths don't give you. So if we're comparing this to Massive, if I turn on this filter, you have your normal uh, filters here like low, uh, the lows, the highs, the band pass, the peak, the notch. Now that's pretty much what Massive gives you, save for like Scream, Acid, and those sort of things, and Daft. But Serum comes with some multi-stage filtering modes or types. And if you scroll over to this, you'll see this list. And the first letter is going to correspond to a certain set of controls when you load this up. And the second letter is gonna correspond to another control. So this first one, for instance, stands for low high six, low high 12, low band 12, low peak 12, and so on. So once you learn the names of these first normal modes, these multi-mode uh, kind of acronyms here start to make sense. Now you even have these triple mode filters down here, like a low, ba a low band high 12, a low peak high 12. Now, as I've mentioned, these are great for dubstep, Nero, drum bass, things that you need to create movement in or sounds that need to have movement. So I have a bass patch loaded up from the stock library inside of Serum. Right, and there's a good amount of movement already. Uh, that's happening just with this LFO modulating the wavetable positions. So we can create a ton more, a, t a lot more movement here, loading up one of these multi-stage filters. So let's load up, we'll load up um, a low, a low band pass 12. So this first knob here, this cutoff knob, is going to control the first letter or filter type that that letter corresponds to. So this is controlling the low pass element of the sound. Right, as I turn it up, turn it down, less frequencies, more frequencies. Now this knob down here, this knob down here is is the uh, frequency control. And this will be a different knob or control if you load up like a, a, we'll load up a low six. Now it says fat, right? We'll load up a different one, see it says fat. So when you load up these multi-stage filters, this will now say frequency or it'll take on a different characteristic or morph when you load up the triple stage filters. So we'll go back to our low band. So as I said, this first one corresponds to the first letter filter type, which is the low pass in this instance, the low pass 12. And this frequency control now is going to control the band pass element to the sound. So if I start to move this around. So let's just load up an LFO in here and I'll modulate downwards with the cutoff for the low, modulate We'll do shift, alt, click, so it's modulating in both positive and negative directions here for this, this uh, band pass. And now let's listen to what we got. All right, see there's a lot more movement there. So let's load up a triple stage. We'll do a low pass high, uh, or low peak high, that'll be an interesting one. So with this, let me clear these out. We'll uh, move all modulators there, remove all modulators here. So now this first knob and the second knob is gonna control the last two. So it's, it's kind of interesting. You have this resonance as well. So let's look at how this works. There's the low. And then there's the morph between the two. So it's really cool. I mean, for we'll do it. We can do a second LFO type. Uh, you can create. You probably wouldn't want this to be the the same LFO that's modulating your wavetail positions. But for the purpose of this tutorial, you 
you'll be able to at least hear the idea behind these multi-stage filters. I've turned this off. So as you can hear, there's a lot of freedom with how you use these multi-stage filters inside of Serum. So if you haven't checked those out, I suggest you do, especially if you need some type of bass or pad or just something that has that requires a lot of movement or some cross-talking between filtering types or modes. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.